Hey guys, it's Chris Martin here with The Real Albuquerque. Uh, this is our burrito review. I have Matt, Matthew Lewis Burnaby, right? Yeah, Lewis, yeah. Okay, throwing the middle name there. We, just, we got uh, the Facebook official right there. Yeah, we are Facebook friends, right? Eh, this more is, or less. This is weird, we're doing this. Uh, for you guys who don't know, we had to do a second take. We're basically just <laughs> doing what we just did. Uh, this is weird. It's like, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a Groundhog Day. Yeah, Groundhog there Day. We where he wakes up and hits uh, the alarm and yep. the same song plays. Okay, so... Uh, we're <laughs> we're at the Urban Hot Dog Factory. Wait, this is a, not it's, a, it's Urban Hot Dog Company, not Urban Hot Dog Factory. Um, <laughs> not a common misconception at all. But you have a factory type rollout, right? It's it's kind of like the Model T for hot dogs. Oh, okay. Um, so it's it's like a factory. I mean, that can be the, the so next you just have idea. you just have a I'm thinking of a conveyor belt like a UPS where they put box on a conveyor. You have uh, hot dogs or is it wieners? What's the preferred? Well, I mean, what's the preferred wieners, schnitzel. Um, yeah, what's the preferred nomenclature? I mean, there's no preferred. Whatever you come in and you enjoy. Okay, so hot dog, wiener, whatever, East yeah. Coast, West Coast, pop. Yeah, ex- pop. exact. Tupac, Biggie, same same concept. No, but pop or Coke, one of those two? It's like Soda. That. You throw in the third option there. Okay, so I'm just picturing like a conveyor belt of hot dogs. One guy's throwing down mayonnaise. One guy's throwing down little Yeah, it's, it's, whatever it's perfected to an art at this point. <laughs> okay, enough of the BS here, right? We want to get to this hungry, let's, this food. Let's uh, get food. to the burritos. Yeah, we're hungry. It's uh, morning time. Oh, jeez. That's a bonus. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I pulled out the wrong burrito first. Now he knows. Yes. <laughs> it's written all over the bag. I was going to find out eventually. <laughs> I was going to try to like uh, go uh, halfway through this without telling you what burrito was which and see which one you liked. Yeah, okay, well. You know, double yeah, blinds. I'll, I'll, I'll try that. We'll, we'll forget it. <laughs> we can't now. This is a little Nita's burrito. I'm shaking it. Uh, this is a really good burrito. I've had these burritos since, uh, you know, I was a young little Delicious. Chris. Gotta love little Anita's. All right, so uh, we have our knife here, right, per usual. Yeah. We have uh, people walk around the store. <laughs> okay, we're going to cut it in half. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we normally go bacon green, or bacon red, but uh, we're going bacon green today. You know, throw in a little curveball Green's for you. the great choice. He texted me the night before, asked me if I was okay with green, which I thought was a very interesting <laughs> question. Who's not okay with green? <laughs> right, right. Oh, wow. Dude, there's actually green chili pieces in here, dude. Oh, gosh, that is money. Which one do you want? You obviously want I, this I will one. take that left side. That has the green but chili. But I want to show the camera here. Check that out. Focus, mm. focus. Do you look at the little bits of green chili? I'm excited. Is oh. it half green or half? I don't know. idea. smell it, though. What's the smell like? It smells like a good burrito with green chili. Here, here we are on, uh, yeah, on the internet smelling burritos <laughs> to that. Maybe one day uh, you can scratch and sniff this on the <laughs> internet. Yeah. Well, you know. There'll be some supplement material. Of course, trademarked. Mmm. Mmm, that was good. That green chili piece was perfect. has a nice spice to it. You know what they actually did? They actually cut their bacon into smaller pieces. You know, a little bacon nor- bit, yeah. Normally the bacon is like a long strip and they just throw it in the burrito and it's like full length Well, and then burrito. you bite it and it comes out and then the rest yeah. of the burrito is left like without bacon. It, right? yeah. <laughs> no, bacon, yeah, bacon like... bits are the way to go. But it tastes like real bacon. Oh, it's spicy too. Mm-hmm. You just feel that kick? That's a delicious kick. The eggs seem to be a little over easy, which is perfect. Dang, man, this is a really good burrito. I don't know how else to explain this. The cheese is melted perfectly. It's like, last week we talked about, or a few weeks ago, we talked about dry burritos versus wet burritos. This is a very wet burrito, but it works out. But not too wet. Yeah, it works out. The structural integrity of the tortilla is still intact. Yeah, we're not getting any drippage or leakage, which sometimes happens. And if you're on the go, this is perfect. Yeah, this could happen in this next burrito. I just don't know. But, yeah, very tight wrap here. Check that out. Nothing coming out. You know, the, the lady that was wrapping this was had some skilled hands. Yeah, definitely experienced. Dude, this is just really good. It's uh, spicy. Now, I'm going to make a bold statement here. Okay. Quite possibly the best burrito we've had on the show. Well, this is my first burrito. And so, what do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. So, I mean, I, I love little Indians. Let's be honest here. We can't go wrong. Okay, let's curve I wish this. there was more green chili, though. I, the first bite was perfect, and I haven't gotten much since then. I got one right here that I'm just going to be ready for. You know, a little All peel right. down. Yeah, they sprinkle it in. Okay. Being a little stingy with the green chili. Dude, feel the weight of this bad boy. This is a Phil Veritas. Wow. Same price. That is a burrito. <laughs> right there. I almost got the, the, the... It wasn't a breakfast burrito. It was a lunch burrito called the Gordo. Oh. <laughs> it was all this, but it had like the shrimp fatty. in there. It had yeah. shrimp in there. <laughs> Does it surprise you? <laughs> shrimp would definitely have surprised me this morning. That is a weighty burrito. But then like, I was like, ah, dude, I, I can't eat this. So <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing it. Yeah, and I just can't watch you uh, eat it. <laughs> Throw down the shrimp at uh, 9 a.m. We're just going straight yeah, we're, we're through the wrapping. The paper there. Yeah. 
tearing up his table, of course. Burnaby, uh, you can charge me later. I, I certainly will. <laughs> it smells good. I can smell the smell it coming through. Ah, that's a good break. Now we get little bits of paper in with the burrito as well. Yeah, that's a bonus. Uh, this is the Filibertos. Okay. You can see the logo kind of on the wrapping. They have their logos, uh, the little taco. I've never had Filibertos. People have said it's good. What are your thoughts? I, I haven't been in forever, so you know I can't say that I remember. Is it good or bad from what you remember? I mean, I remember eating it. So oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't throw up afterwards, so. So that's always a plus. Yes. Um, all right, well, here we go. We got some green chili dude, in this, this one is, as well. Dude, if you look, just look at the difference here, let's just get some visual difference. That this is, is a full circle burrito. That, yeah, that is. And then this is, is more a of a burrito. Rectangu rectangular okay. burrito, right? Yeah, and the, uh, the tortilla seems to have a little toast on it as well. Do you think it's a homemade tortilla, or do you think it's a something else? You know, I mean, you're the you're the food guy, so yeah, this well, is, you're the guy to ask. You know, I would I would hope that it's home. I mean, in New Mexico, we we have tortillas for days. So. Yeah. Regardless if it's homemade or New Mexico made, ah, it's okay. still got to be a money tortilla there. This also looks like a wet burrito. Okay. Is there a ham in this one instead of the bacon, or? She assured me it was bacon. Okay. But you can see bacon there, maybe. A little bacon and ham dips, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's doing a surprise. I see green chili for sure. Or it's a bell pepper. <laughs> We're about to find out. I've yet to taste it. That green chili. Hmm. Okay, definitely different taste. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I guess is green chili chili a more of a subtle chili? Because typically in a red chili, I, I would have already tasted it by now, and I, my mouth may or may not have been on fire, well, or I, mean, I would have had that taste. Definitely depends on the chili here, and you know the the different different types of chilies you get. And this one doesn't seem you know I haven't really tasted a, a green chili in here. It's, they also <laughs> use it pretty sparingly. Yeah, I see green chili, but I don't taste it. So this could be more of a flavor chili. This could even be a, a canned green chili if they're trying to cut costs and. Oh, that could be go with the cheaper green chili. I don't know. You but can I'm, definitely taste green chili more definitely. here. But um, I mean, I'm I'm looking for the the green chili in here. I you see the bacon. Sure you ordered a green chili. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She assured me. Hmm. <laughs> The tortilla is definitely a little little drier as well. I was skeptical buying this burrito. I'm not gonna lie, because I've never been to Filiberto's, so I don't know their I don't know their rep. But I have heard good things from people who go there between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m. Okay, well, if they're even open, but you know, I'm talking about late night situations. That and Taco Cabana. What what more can you? you well, know? Taco Cabana is good. We yeah. had them on episode two with John Elder. John, okay. John Michael Gabaldon Elder. I, I didn't see the burrito part of that episode. Oh yeah, he's a cool cat. So what are your thoughts here, man? You know, I'm I'm really not too impressed with this burrito. I mean, I, I pulled it out of the bag, and initially seeing the burn marks on the tortilla had me a little... I think that's a green chili pepper. That, that is, well, let me try that green chili there. <laughs> is it green chili? Definitely green chili. I'm not too impressed with, with the way it tastes. Um, I mean, I could see this being amazing at 3 in the morning. Mm. You know, com coming home from uh, whatever activities you did the night before. Right. Hey, it's worth saying that uh, none of these burritos are really... Like, one, like, Little Knees is number one. This is, like, number 50. These are yeah. both really good burritos. Yeah. Uh, so. No, both both very good, very good. But, I mean, when you're comparing the two. Yeah, I'm going back to this one for taste. To, to get a nice comparison there. It's a good idea. Although I can't visually see it, I can taste the green chili mm -hmm. sauce. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going like, it back went throughout forth. the entire burrito. You know, and just look at the difference. It's. The way they're wrapped, it's it's almost like you can taste the love in Little Anita. Like Little Anita herself made this burrito. Yeah, the the Anita, which means uh, aunt, mm -hmm. the little aunt, uh, not like Auntie Anne's in the mat in the, the pretzel company. Are they related? Um, they might be. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> what is that, Auntie Annie's? Auntie Annie's uh, pretzel company. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shout out to Auntie Annie's. Just <laughs> <laughs> get some pretzels on here. Yeah. Um, once you go back and forth, you can definitely taste. I can still taste the mm -hmm. green chili burning my mouth from this. Yeah, Although you may not see it, and we, has a good flavor to it. We were talking about how you may not see it, but the sauce is in there. Can you? Now, you know, mm -hmm. taste. Yeah. Now you go back, and the bacon bits too. I mean, they're, they're nice is and this crunchy. This you or me? Oh, that's you. This one's you. Okay, that one's. We're that getting one. to a little. Uh, <laughs> we're getting to burrito confusion. <laughs> burrito problems. <laughs> and I love. The chopped bacon, you know, it's it's crisp in here, so you get a nice. Yeah, but we chopped bacon. 
Well, I mean, it's it's crunchy in this one. You mm -hmm. take a bite, it's crunchy in this one. It's just there. This one's more a little cheesier, too. Mm, definitely more cheesy. So if you like cheese or if you're lactose intolerant, do not get this one. Mm -mm. Well, or take one of those pills, the lactate pills. Go oh, for yeah, it. Yeah. Go all out. I don't know if that's good or bad or if it works, but... <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, don't, no, don't find out. <laughs> do whatever you normally do. <laughs> do not take medical advice from Matt Burnaby. I'm a hot dog salesman. <laughs> not a, not a, a licensed physician at That's this just point. a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> It's a pastime. <laughs> Giving out uh, unwarranted medical advice. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know about you, but I think there's a clear favorite. I think there is two, but... And I, I know where you're going with this, because that's sort of the same way I'm going with this. But, you know, both of these are really good. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let me ask you this question. Before you came into this interview today, what would you say your favorite burrito is? Like if, uh, you know, the ends of the earth, you were just like, last, I'm talking last meal burrito. La last meal burrito. Okay, wow. You're really putting me on the spot. Now, whether, that's, that. whether it's mom or dad or, you know, Auntie Annie's or whatever. Um, you know, honestly, I, I don't know if it'd be my last meal burrito, but, but something that holds me over is uh, the, uh, the number 13 at Twister's. I mean, it's... it's oh, the, explain it's, to us what number 13 it's, is. It's a, it's a three-meat biggie. <laughs> Which okay, by the name alone, that is. yeah, sounds amazing. You need to keep sub describing this because so it's what you're saying is not. Uh, <laughs> well, and it, it definitely plays into the the burrito and the hot dog mantra there. Is this like the baconator for burritos? It, it's like the baconator for burritos. So it has three meats. Um, you know what those meats are. I mean, I'm assuming there's bacon. There's probably sausage. The third meat, I don't know. Chorizo, maybe ham. Possibly. We just it's, don't know. It's delicious. Or is it little riblets? Ooh. <laughs> Because they make barbecue there as well. I'm just, no. I'm just picturing like brisket, man. Ooh. Oh, brisket would be a good. Hey, have you had to Rudy's? Yeah, the breakfast Rudy's? tacos. That yeah. should be something you need to put on there. No, no, I'll put a Rudy's one on here. Yeah. Rudy's has amazing breakfast oh, burritos. Delicious. No one knows of, about them either. Right? Yeah, no, it's like a yeah, it's a secret. Well, I know about it. You know about mm -hmm. them. But Doesn't instead know. of uh, bacon, they use brisket. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, amazing. you talk about a burrito, man. They don't have. I don't know if they have chili in there. I think they don't, but. Maybe I can source some chili here. It is New Mexico. Yeah, you might be able to find it on the corner. I'm gonna wrap it, sprinkle it in, yeah. rewrap it, then <laughs> surprise somebody. Then surprise someone. No, that that would be a good one. But uh, so it's 13 is. It's, uh, it's the number 13. Bacon three. sausage mystery meat. Yeah, and the the thing about Twister's not a lot of people know about is you can order your eggs as as you see fit. So if you want your eggs a little runny, a little over easy. Oh no way, really? Yeah, so they can they can they can do that for you. I, I didn't know. Um, How did you figure this out? Um, Lenny, Lenny Gladwell told me. Ah, okay, our friend Lenny Gladwell. A mutual friend. He uh, he's, he seems to be in the know about burritos. Really? Uh, yeah. He, By choice or, or is he a self-proclaimed uh, burrito I mean, kingpin a, or what is a, he? A little bit of both. <laughs> I mean, I think the burrito finds you and then at that point you choose to. Uh, yeah. You choose. It's like yeah. it's like uh, the dark side or the light side. Or, Don't or know a little Star Wars reference. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. If oh, you're yeah. more familiar with that. Yeah. If you like that reference. The, the chosen one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Choose your own destiny. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's three meats, and you get you get the eggs. Um, I get them over easy, and uh, it you get it smothered with the green. Oh, now we're Sm talking. Smothered's the way to do it. It really is, I but mean, you can't go handheld in the smothered. It's, uh, you can't. It's it's not one you take on the go. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's still, you get that green smothered on there. And know. then sometimes if you get the right twisters, they'll put the French fries, and they'll put this cheddar, and well, they'll put like what? this green chili sauce on it. Yeah, they put these little tell, curly tell fries. Tell me more about this. I've, I've never gotten fries it's, there. It's called a Twister's burrito. <laughs> well, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, you sold me on it. And then you can, yeah, I just got one yesterday. And then you, they put these fries on okay. it. Okay, huh. Melt some cheese and they put, like, green chili sauce on top. Amazing. It's really good. I have to, if I ever stray from the three meat biggie, which probably will never yeah, happen. Yeah, I mean, if there's... Amazing. Smothered yeah, in green. If there's a blue moon, Yeah, you know. we'll see. <laughs> I get a wild hair. <laughs> So your favorite burrito is this baconator of burritos that, this, uh, that uh, I've never the, heard the of. The thing's massive, and it, it comes oh, in a nice... Uh, the baconator's massive, too. Do they still sell that at... Oh, you know they have to, right? Yeah. Well, well, do they? I don't know. I've never tried it. My friend Pat Lons <laughs> assured me it was amazing. Shout out to Pat Lons. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this, buddy, you're listening to us. <laughs> the Baconator guy. The Baconator guy. Uh, I've never tried them personally because, you know, I've never wanted to, like, die, but... <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Um, no, it's, uh, the Baconator's good. I mean, the, the thing about it, it's just such a big burrito, and, you know, you get it to go, they put it in this nice styrofoam box. Um. No, no, those <laughs> yeah. are two conflicting words. He's like, you, said, you just said nice, and then you 
Well, you know, I'm, up I'm, trying, I'm trying to sell box. people on the three meat that you hear. And it's, but you think you're getting sold on a styrofoam box from Albuquerque? Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, they the Twisters, they, they got bought out. Oh, by who? Yeah, by a, a restaurant company in Texas, I believe. No way. Yeah, so they're they're no longer necessary. Los Pollos Locos is... Or Los Pollos Hermanos is yeah. gone? Yeah, and they're, they're also the, the ones that were on Breaking Bad. They used their star. Which, which store is that? Do you know? Oh, shoot. It's uh, in the South Valley somewhere. Okay, yeah. And they have, uh, I think it's by like uh, Coors and Bridge or something. I'm making words up now. <laughs> both are streets, though. So. <laughs> both are streets, and they both can, I think they cross. But it's somewhere down there, and they actually have the little Los mm, yeah, uh, have Locos on the Hermanos yeah, on the from, wall. From, from the episode they, they filmed. If you do the Breaking Bad tours, yeah. they take you there. Um, but yeah, that, that Texas based company bought them out. But we're, we're getting off track of the uh, delicious burritos. Yeah, we're talking about Baconators and such. So yeah, this is a spinning nice, tray. This is yeah, our, lazy, that, su- that, that our lazy Susan of burritos. Our lazy Susan of burritos here. Or it's like some sort of burrito roulette. I, I was thinking the same thing. You have to eat this one. <laughs> ne- next idea for the show. I'll let you borrow this, this and is... you can have a couple burritos lined up and just spin. Whichever one it lands on. You must eat. Well, this <laughs> one is mine. This one's yours. This one's mine. That one's yours. So we got our burritos intact. We're going back to little Nita's here. Mm. Mm. I mean, now that it's getting cold, it's still good. I'm making a mess here. When we started this, they were hot. Now they're getting a little chilly. Mm-hmm. It's been uh, about 15 minutes, and we just kind of rambled on about Baconators and yep. such. Um, main difference, let's just go over some main differences here. Main differences is obviously size and weight. Filibertos, uh, Little Nitas. I'm going to zoom in so I can get some 4K burrito action, right? Everyone needs to see yeah, burritos say, in, in 4K, not right? Not safe for work, I don't know. Oh, this is not safe for work? Well, if your boss rolls around watching you, and you're like, oh, this is a burrito in 4K. <laughs> okay. In New Mexico, you might be able to get away with that. Yeah. So visually, size and weight, right? This is a square. This is a circle. I don't know if that matters. Yeah. But uh, also differences, you can definitely taste the chili sauce and visually mm-hmm. see the chili more throughout this burrito. Now... When we talked about it, you said that there wasn't really much visually in there, but you taste yeah, it. You definitely like, tasted it. You're like, oh, okay, there is chili there. And that's what's good mm-hmm. about green chili. It is kind of a translucent, light green. It's like a yeah, lime it start, green. It starts going through everything. Really, really good there. Yeah, it permeates through everything. Soaks into the uh, eggs. Red chili is visually red, and I don't think it soaks in as much. Maybe it does. You know, maybe but, maybe based on the viscosity of the two, if we want to get some scientists out here. Yeah. If there's any, uh, but you know what I'm talking about, right? How mm-hmm. green chili kind of blends in and kind of... It's gone. Uh, silent killer. Uh, <laughs> bacon, both chopped up. Not that long string that we yep. see. Which I'm not doubting, judging the long string. Just different styles. More cheese in the filiberto. Uh, what else? Well, you know, my... You're the food guy. Well, yeah, my, my thoughts What's on your, it. And, you know, I... Give us a, you're I, the food I haven't dude. been to Filberto's in forever, but, I mean, just looking at the difference between these two um, burritos, you can see... Now, they're, they're both equally priced. Both, both equally priced. <laughs> um, I think, you know... They're going for different things here. I don't know what Filberto's <laughs> breakfast, uh, you know, entails, but you know, just by holding these two, I feel like this is, you know, Little Anita's maybe uses higher quality ingredients, or um, made with more uh, cariño, which means love. Oh, there we go. Throw a little Spanish there. in there for you guys. <laughs> there you go. No subtitles needed. Um, <laughs> so you know, I, I feel like you know maybe they're they're going for you know this is definitely a bigger burrito so they're maybe going for people that are looking for more bang for the buck a more value we, price concept we saw this in episode one with blake's versus mm-hmm. uh golden pride same okay, deal yeah. same deal this is going to be a golden pride and this is a mm-hmm. blake's and golden pride you got to love their tortillas you have to it, I, and when the episode with chris taylor i said i picked i normally am a lot of burger guy and i picked yeah. golden pride just because of the tortilla because oh, it's, 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 it's amazing tasted, tortilla. yeah when you get them side to side you're like oh this uh, you you got to go for that. Well, well, now we're well, getting very off well, well, to segue into some, <laughs> so, uh, a, a little plug right there. I mean, that's kind of what I do with the hot dogs. I mean, I, I get the buns made made locally, and um, you know, it's a very high quality bun. Um, and to so say that, that matters, right? So, so you, that matters. I mean, uh, you know, you could just get a bun from you know Smith's Smith or for, Albertsons for thirty cents. That's going to fall apart, and it's not going to go very well with everything. But you know, our buns here they have a little hint of sugar in them, so it goes very well with the, the natural sodium that you get in the hot dogs, of course. You're, so, you're, so it balances out very well. You're, um, you're, you're talking about things that I don't understand. Good food. <laughs> good food. Um, no, yeah, normally I just go to my friend Sean Fry's house. Shout out to the sh- to the Dolan Fry. <laughs> and he has buns from wherever he locally sources his buns from. He must have a bun guy. I'm sure everyone does. And uh, they're amazing, but I'm definitely... We're going to try some of this low-sodium buns. 
No, sodium no. with sugar mixed so, in. So the, the buns have a little sugar in them, so it's a little hint of sweetness. Oh, okay. Um, but but you know, someone someone has been quoted as saying is you know the the bun is is the holder of all things good. So if you get a crappy bun but put good toppings on there, a crappy tortilla and put good uh, toppings okay. on there. Okay, you need a good base. It's not going to translate well. You is know, this our guy? This this is our guy. We have employee number one walking in for the day. Okay, so if you hear some keys jingling, it's not uh, anything to worry about. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Dan, this is Chris. Hey. Hey, Chris. How you doing? I'm, I'm Chris. My nice fantastic to meet you, Dan. employees right here. Hey, come Dan, around the corner. Dan, the man, say hi to... We're filming uh, our breeder review. Hi, guys. This hey, is Dan. Great employee, right? He's fantastic. One, one of the best hot dog slingers out there. Oh, he's... Nice, nice. Dan the man also do you have, do you have like a, Dan. Oh, Hurricane. I was going to say, what's your what's your code name if you're a truck driver? Well, they Hurricane Dan. I don't really approve of it, though. Why? Why? He, he makes it? hot dogs really fast and amazingly. I don't think it's a very fitting, but I make them fast. I, I get those hot dogs out sometimes and knock a few things over the... What's your preferred name? If you could have your go-to name. Okay, yeah, pick a name. Pick a, pick a name for the viewers at home. Uh, I prefer Dan the guy. I hear people say Dan. Dan the Dan, guy. Dan the guy doesn't... Dan the man. Dan the man. Flows a I, little I bit better. One, I prefer Dan the guy. All right, Dan. <laughs> Dan I don't get it, but Dan, I'll... Dan the man it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hur, uh, Hurricane Dan or Dan the guy? Okay, I can go with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a choice between Filiberto's or Little Anita's? Do you have a favorite? I've never been to Filiberto's. I've Little seen Anita's. it up here, actually. That was the one I was telling you about over by Burrito Express. Do you, do you want to get a guest bite in here? We yeah. can cut that. No, I'm okay. Okay. He's, he's I'm passing on. Yeah, how's Burrito Express? We're going to do them like next week or the week uh, after. I actually prefer Burrito Express a lot. Uh, I love that place. Yeah, they were closed on Sundays. What's, what's your favorite burrito place? Um, Burrito Express. Okay, okay. so we're going to take Dan, the guy's recommendation for next week's video. Uh, and we'll check that out. But okay, you like little Nitas, okay? Yeah, little Nitas is good. good All right, here. so we got one yeah. little Nitas. I'm well, this is a three-way vote. Oh well, yeah, it's it's, th it's three ways. Now. <laughs> so we, we could have a tiebreaker. <laughs> okay, what do you like uh, about little Nitas the most? Um, I mean, the, thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank appreciate you. it. Um, the the tortilla. I mean, I liked everything about it. It was it was just a good. You know, the eggs were were cooked perfectly. The, the, the green chili. This, this one's mine. Okay. Um, and the bacon had a nice crisp to it, so you got a nice oh. crunch. I just got a pocket of green chili, dude. There, oh, wow. That's, it, like, it that's all like finding came, Dude, it all came to the bottom. So so we have a little... Yeah, so yeah I, hit so the it's bottom. like a Capri Sun when you're growing up. The good stuff is, was always if you turned it upside down. Yeah, and you got to stab that yeah. sucker in there. Yeah, dude, it's all at the bottom, and it's really spicy. Man, I think you hit the jackpot. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? This is how... You get that? It all soaked to the bottom, dude. So, <laughs> new thing. Going to Little Anita's, hold the bag right side up, Boom. and then... Bite from the bottom. It's all at the mm. bottom. Well, I'm glad I kept eating. Little tips and tricks for little Anita's goers out there. Fun facts. <laughs> when you get your little Anita's burrito and you like it spicy, they're going to put it to you in the bag vertically. You just take it out of the bag, do this, put it in your hand, and you're good to go. You're at the bottom eating the best part. <laughs> and let that <laughs> go down. There we go. This is probably our longest burrito review, but we're having a lot of fun. Dan the guy showed Dan up? Dan the guy showed up. <laughs> I'm still going to go with Dan the man. It, it sounds better. That's part um, of being the boss. <laughs> we talked about uh, a lot of things, baconators, uh, burrito, uh, hot dog things, holders, bases. Okay, we got to pick a winner so we can get these people on their day and uh, keep moving. Um, I know I mean, who I'm picking. I think I know who you're picking. Yeah. Let's roll. I think it's fairly obvious. L little Anita is. Yeah, Little Anita is. Uh, you did Hands great down. here today. Now, like I said... Disclaimer-wise before, Filiberto's put out a really good burrito. Still, still delicious. I would still eat this Filiberto burrito mm -hmm. and write good reviews about it. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, if I were to go on Yelp, I would still say A+, plus, great service, uh, great location, uh, friendly people. Mm -hmm. um, and you good. should. You definitely should. Yelp Yelp is a huge... For restaurants? For restaurants, especially, uh, uh, you know, more local businesses. It really brings new people into the area. It's, it's big for me. And, you know, I, I try to do as many reviews as I can. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So you have uh, people love us at Yelp sign here. Yeah. You have the trip advisor, so people are traveling. Um, so, yeah. Disclaimer is, Phil Berto is still, still a really strong burrito. Oh, yeah. But between the two, I'm definitely going with Little Knees like you are. Agreed. There's Agreed. just uh, a lot going on. Uh, so I think this is the end of our burrito session, unless you want to say something else. A little, uh, we got the Urban Hot Dog Company right here. I mean, just take it, take it all in, and I feel like we'll get to this in a bit. Oh, what's here. his name? We don't know what his name is. <coughs> you know, that's maybe that's for the the viewers to decide. Oh, okay. What is the name of? Uh, can we can we leave it to our internet community to name the dog? You know, they, sometimes they can be trusted, and sometimes they can't. <laughs> so, so so we'll see. So for this video, leave in the comments below. I'm pointing to where you drop your comments, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, 
If you're looking at us on our webpage, still there's a comment section. If you're listening to us on iTunes, find Urban Hot Dog Company, like them, and send them a message of what you think the dog's name should be. Yeah, um, let's, let's let's see what see what the, uh, the, the people internet people want to say. Okay, okay, the we'll internet. leave it up to you guys. All right, he'll still have final decisions. So some crazy, you guys have some craziness out there like you normally do. Uh, he's gonna as, probably as is the internet. <laughs> he'll probably nix it. But you have some creative ideas. Uh, we'll we'll, check we'll it out. love to hear him. Okay, guys, this is the end of uh, Burrito Review with Matt Burnaby, Matt Lewis Burnaby of the Urban Hot Dog Company. You can find him at urbanhotdogcompany.com. Yes, sir. And uh, try, get a little we, social yeah, we, plugs. we do uh, urbanhotdogcompany.com. There is uh, Urban Hot Dog Company on Facebook, of course. What is it? Uh, what's your Facebook.com slash Urban Hot Dog? Urban Hot Dog. Yeah. Co um, or company? Company. Okay, and so Ur- your okay. Urban Hot Dog Company is still on there. Um, and I may need to fact check that so I don't look at the forward slash. Just Google oh. search Urban Hot Dog Company and all my social media will pop up. And then uh, we'll, Instagram. We'll, we'll drop it in the comments Facebook, yeah, in Twitter. our description yeah. too. Uh, Have it scrolling across, maybe flashing. Yeah. Well, little hot dogs rolling around. Oh, perfect. Uh, hot dog emojis all day. Side, side note, have you seen the It's Raining ta- Tacos video? No, no. Is it yeah. something I should watch? Yeah, it's, it's about 12 hours of a guy singing about tacos. It's good stuff. Hey, how can you go wrong? There Just you go. hit. hit uh, <laughs> That sounds like when you're cleaning the house, just pop that on the TV. <laughs> Twelve hours later, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, still doing the house. Ta- yeah. <laughs> the house is clean. The tacos are still ready. Neighbor's raining. house is probably still clean. <laughs> you're doing work. Oh, that's funny. Okay, uh, okay, guys, um, you got the social out. We're gonna switch now to the episode where we talk about the urban hot dog business and how we grew this business. So hang tight, um, and we'll see you guys uh, next time. Perfect. Well, thanks, guys. All right, bye, guys.